Welcome to Get Health with Dr. Cooper Kitchen segment. Today we have Estela Garcia in our kitchen. Welcome, Estela. Thank you, Dr. Cooper. Estela Garcia is a certified or registered dietitian as well as a certified diabetic educator. What do you have for us today? Today we will be making banana pancakes. Banana pancakes? Yes, they're very simple to make. Is that healthy or not? Yes, I mean, it gives you everything that you need for your healthy breakfast. All right, go ahead. So this, all we need is a blender. So at least we have, we have a blender here and we're gonna go ahead and add all of our ingredients. So one of the first ingredients is the banana. Right, two bananas. Mm -hmm. What are the health benefits of bananas, by the way? Potassium. Potassium, what else? Well, fiber, fiber too. And natural sugar, right? Yes, we don't need to add any sugar in this recipe. Excellent, very good. So we are doing two bananas and they should be ripe, very the ripe. And the riper the better, so uh, they all have more sweetness. Very good, all right, let's go. So after adding the banana, we're gonna go ahead and put a cup of a... Uh, uh, Nut milk. Yes, in this case we're using almond milk, but you can also use uh, soy, soy milk. Soy milk, very good. You want to stay away from the the animal milk because of the cholesterol. All right, what else do we have? And we add in a cup of oat flour. All right, so oat is, why do we use oat flour? This is good for those people that cannot tolerate uh, any gluten. So, so it's, it's actually whole grain, right? Yes. And we don't want to use any processed grains because the processed grains, we're losing a lot of fiber and a lot of nutrients, right? Yes. And the oats, remember, also have that soluble fiber. Soluble fiber, and why do we need soluble fiber? To lower your cholesterol. That's right. Mm -hmm. So soluble fiber, lower cholesterol. All right, let's continue. So we're gonna go ahead and add a teaspoon of the baking powder. Baking powder, and which one do you suggest we use? The one that doesn't have any aluminum. Aluminum, because we want to avoid early Alzheimer's. Okay, yes. what else do we, we add? We also add in a tablespoon of uh, Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yes. Right, that's for the flavor. Yes, that's all we need. We're going to go ahead and blend it. All right. Okay, let's mix it up somewhat. And that will happen to you out there. So if your blender gets difficult, just stir it and keep going. All right, let's keep going. We have to mix again. Now, if you have a high powered blender, that makes it a little easier for your recipe. That should be good enough. All right. Okay. Very good. Why don't we change so we can go yes. ahead and so start So, we're going to go fun. ahead and we already preheated our. Um, to 350 mm -hmm. and Is then it? you're going to add some uh, oil yes we're going to put a little bit of oil we use coconut oil coconut oil is a little healthier now i always tell the patients be careful with the oil because oil is a processed food and it's high in calories so just a minimal amount of oil is good enough all right okay all right now is that hot enough let me make sure it okay, is maybe we can turn it up a little higher is it there? Mm-hmm. All righty. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some walnuts on top. I mean, you can add any fruit you like. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And so you can top this with healthy uh, nuts as mm -hmm. well as fruits. I like to use um, banana mm -hmm. as well as berry. Now, for the diabetics, I suggest berries, right? Blueberries, Because yes. the berries are low in glycemic, glycemic index. index. Yes. Therefore, the sugar will not rise suddenly, yes. and then the sugar will not be too high. That's correct. So, do not use any syrup. No, but this don't, don't you need any Exactly, syrup. because that is the problem. And we're using good carb, so we're using the oatmeal. Oatmeal, so it's gluten-free. And gluten-free. So Estela, how long should we allow that to cook? Once you start seeing bubbles on top, that means it's ready, so you, it's good to turn around. Very good. So how do you top that? What do you put on top of the uh, pancakes? Right now we're putting walnuts, but you can put any fruit you like. I like to put um, the berries or sometimes bananas. That's good, that's um, good. In my family too, we add a banana, an orange, and uh, another fruit, we blend that and use that sauce as a topping. That's great, Dr. Cooper. We have some already here. Well, let's 
Let's get these. So we have two already prepared. I'm going to get some berry topping. So we're going to add the berries. Very good. All right. I like the, um, the blueberries. I'm going to add this. Okay, you can add that. These ones, you can add some. Okay, so let's put this on. And let's taste these. Because I think these are going to be very delicious. So let's taste. They are. I know All right, they are. let's We're taste. Now, if you'd like some more recipe, go to my website, gethealthwithdrcooper.tv. And thanks for staying with us today on our show. Let's try these. Let's do it. Mm. I like it. Delicious, right? Delicious. Mm.